Hey guys, how's it going? This is Erin, and today we're going to be combining two different palettes, alright? I know I look a little cray cray, and I know that my brows are just maybe a little too intense today, but what can you do? Anyway, so I'm going to give you two different palettes, just like I said. Both of them are by e.l.f. Cosmetics. This one right here is their Total Face Palette in the Smoky Matte Edition. Yes, Smoky Matte Edition. So you get your three shadows to, to create almost like a smoky eye if you wanted to. You get a little bit of a bronze slash contour. You get a blush. And then you get these two lipsticks. They're more like lip glosses, but they're in the formula of the moisturizing lipsticks that e.l.f. has out. I personally love those. Um, I'm not I'm not sure if I'm gonna follow the lip color for this um, because I think I have one that I would rather do and it is from ColourPop. This is called Curtsy and it's one of their glossy lips. And of course my phone always makes an appearance, right? Wouldn't be right if it didn't, right? So now it's on silent. Uh-huh. So, this is the color right here. I think it'll go very well with what I'm going to do. And I'm also going to combine this e.l.f. lipstick slash lip liner. It's about the same shade. So I'm going to have this on first as the base, and then I will go in with Curtsy. And if you're wondering, this is called Dash of Pink. Alright, so I will stop talking so much, and we will get into this. Now I've already done my foundation, my concealer, my setting, the whole thing. And obviously you see I've done my brows. <laughs> They're so bold today, but okay. That's fine. I have my pumpkin spice tea off to my right, so that's definitely good. Now it's off to your right. I'm looking at it from my left. It's that kind of morning. Um, so I have a ton of brushes in front of me that I'm going to be using. So yes, I'm going to follow this, the Smoky Matte palette, all the way through, and then we're going to glam it up with the California version of these baked shadows. There are 10 shadows in all, all of which are um, glittery and shimmery. So we're definitely going to be going in with that as well because I don't necessarily want to do just a matte look with you. And I also want to edit the way that we're going to be doing a smoky eye which is pretty much what they gave us to work with because it is the smoky matte after all so we are going to go into this palette first and do the rest of the face and all that and then come back into the shimmery palettes so i'm going to go ahead and zoom you guys in a little bit all right that should be good so you get a very good sized mirror in here and I'm just going to go in with one of my ColourPop fluff brushes and I'm going to go ahead and use this shade first as my base. I apologize if there's a stream of sunlight anywhere or if it bounces off of a mirror. I literally got to do these things in the morning because otherwise I have crappy lighting. So, sorry. Alright, so I'm going to go into that shade and it's very narrow like it, it I don't know so I'm gonna go ahead and just not just pat this down but actually work it onto the lid and there's you know I understand that there's like barely any pigment or at least that can be seen I hate when hairs get up in my stuff. I'm like, hello? No. So I'm going to pat it down at least for that first bit. OK. 
Okay, one more dip. Please ignore my house phone. Nobody important ever calls it anyway. <laughs> mm hmm. So you got this little bit here, and then I'm gonna go in with the same brush and go in in the second one because this one's basically designed to go strictly on the lid, not up to the brow bone. I'm gonna try to move as quickly as I can because I've watched my old videos and I'm like, girl, you are taking freaking forever. Just blend it. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna add a little bit more there. A little bit more over here. So you can see some pigment. That's basically what, it, what we want. I'm gonna go ahead and put this brush off to the side for the moment and I'm gonna take this is an elf blending brush make sure all the residues off and then I'm gonna go in with this black shade just to really create that smoky eye so just dab in there knock off the excess and go And if needed, we will just use some concealer to fix this. Now, you can be pretty perfect about this if you want to be. But since I know that we're going in with another palette, I'm not worrying too much about this. Okay, so... You have your smoky eye down, essentially, and yes, all of this is matte. Okay, one more dip. Alright, so there's that. So I'm going to retire this brush as well. Um, I'm going to take a small e.l.f. brush. This is the Small Precision. And I'm going to go back into that black shade that we have and just gather a little bit of product and just sort of line out that lower lash line. Okay, so it looks a bit like that. Alright, so those parts are taken care of. Now I'm going to go ahead and put that brush off to the side. So now what I want to do is go into the rest of the face because I'm not going to apply mascara right there for a little bit because I want the rest of the face on first and we're not done with the eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and for my... Hmm, where are you, my love? Okay. For my blush, I'm going to take the Silver Series Elf Blush Brush. And I'm going to go ahead and use their blush here. I know it has the bronzer first, but I don't do it in that order. So just very lightly tap it and tap it like this. So that none of that powder gets into your lipstick. So just... Do this really fast here. Go back in. And just lightly blend. Okay, so that is the blush. Um, I'll zoom you out just a little bit. There we go. So you can sort of see what's going on. Now I'm going to go ahead and put that brush down for the moment. I'm going to take an e.l.f. contouring brush 
and I'm going to dip lightly into this contour shade. Okay, and hopefully, like I've been watching people do this and I'm like, I don't know, but too late now. Yep, yeah, much too late now. I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit on the nose. So that is now carved out. It's kind of weird for me because I'm not used to doing that. So we will move that brush temporarily. And let's see here. I don't have a lip brush and besides I wanted to go into a different lipstick anyway. So what we're going to do now is go into the shimmers. So I'm going to go ahead and actually take the brushes that we used at first and try to almost keep things blended and clean. So as you can see it's more open right there. So because it has almost a goldy color to it I want to make almost a very intense statement. So I'm going to go ahead and go into this baked shadow. I'm going to use a ColourPop fluff brush and just load it. And just really add some of that. There we go. So I'll zoom you in so you can see what's going on a little bit. So that's definitely going in very nicely. And we're also blending in some of that smoky eye that we had. Okay, so that's done there. So I'm going to go ahead back into that crease brush that we smoked our eyes out with and I want to almost add a little bit of this purple shade up here. So I'm loading my brush up and I want to put a little bit of a purple kind of look to the crease. Okay, so you sort of see it, you sort of don't, and that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and use, I'm going to use this brush. This is an eyeshadow brush by e.l.f. And I'm going to go ahead and pack on, well not pack on, but you get what I'm saying. I'm going to go ahead and use this shade initially for the brow bone. So I'm going to go ahead and get a lot of pigment on this brush. Alright. So, moving back and forth like so. Okay. Now I'm going to also take this color here, same brush. Okay.
Alrighty then. And I'm going to go back into the crease, actually. So where did I put my brush? Da, da, da. Okay, so here's this one. Going back in. And I'm going to go ahead and use this shade right here. Load it up. And blend out that crease a little bit more. Okay, now I'm going to end up using my finger for this part. So I want to take this shade here and place that directly on the lid again. So I get a little bit of pigment. Okay. Wanted to take it to the center of that lid again. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use this shade on the brow bone, I'm also going to go back with a finger because I wasn't too impressed with the brush. So I got a little bit there. There we go. That is way better. Okay, so that is what they look like. Now I'm going to go ahead and take a slight bit here. So I'm going to go ahead in with my Voluminous Lash Paradise in Waterproof. This is Blackest Black. So we're going to go ahead in, but we got to curl the lashes first. go in with the mascara okay so that's the mascara and I want to go ahead and add a little bit of highlight to the face because we need highlight. So I am going to grab my e.l.f. highlighting brush. Yes, it is that kind of morning, I swear. I'm going to go into Blushed Gems. It's a baked highlighter that e.l.f. has. So I'm just going to coat my brush here. And just pat it on there just to give a little bit of a shine. Okay. Okay, so there's the highlight. So we are done with that. <laughs> All right, so we close that up. Zoom me out a little bit. I'm going to take my lip products here. I'm going to throw that. There we go. Please excuse the uh, rude noise that is outside my window. <sighs> Whatever. Anyway, we're going to go in with the e.l.f. lipstick slash lipstick, and we're going to go ahead and not only line, but coat, there we go, but coat it.
Okay, so it looks a bit like that. And now we're going to go ahead and put that back down. And now I'm going to go in with curtsy. Okay. Open you back up. And... Voila! The look is done. Now just for a little bit of setting spray. And I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Natural Finish Setting Spray. So here we go. Alright, so this is the final and finished look. I'm really actually kind of pleased with it. Um, you know, as you know, we always bounce around and look for different ways of doing this. But I think the application overall went well. I don't typically use um, eyeliner anymore. So I really have tried to focus more on getting shadows to look like I'm wearing eyeliner, but I'm not. Because um, eyeliner for me sometimes takes way too much, um, not only just effort, but when you're trying to wash it off, it's really difficult. So I decided why not make these palettes come to life together. Um, don't get me wrong, I love the Smoky Matte uh, kit on its own. I mean, I, I remember when I first used it, I was just like mind blown because it was like they've literally laid it out for you. I mean, they literally have laid everything out for you so that you can make an incredible smoky eye and then to have this California version of baked shadows and getting 10 of them, like, I mean, come on. It was begging to shimmer. So, thank you. That is all we have today. Um, at least for this video. <laughs> uh, thank you so much if you tuned in. Um, if you're new, hi. Welcome to my channel. If you're returning, thank you so much. I love you very much for coming back. That is amazing to me. Thank you so much. Um, if you liked what you saw here today, please hit the like button because that does help me out um, and also hit subscribe when you hit subscribe a little bell is going to pop up right next to it click that little bell and it'll let you know anytime that I post new content um, so definitely please do that and honestly if you have any comments questions or concerns you can leave them down in the comment section below and I will get back to you as soon as I can Thank you guys so much, and I will see you on the next one.